Now here's the thing, it is very unlikely that on my way out of the door, I'm going to stop in front of this thing, no matter how well organized it is, and flip through these folders and pick coupons on my way outside. Hi, my name is Sarah. I am a nationally certified personal trainer and nutrition specialist at fitstyle.com. I am also a mom to a baby boy, and on this channel, I love sharing tips and tricks that can make life a little bit easier, whether or not you have kids. And a lot of those tips are related to home organization, organizational systems that work for you, streamlined processes, as well as recipes and things I've learned along the way that can make life a little simpler. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite storage solutions, especially for smaller spaces. We are in this house for only about a week more, so I really need to film this now <laughs> before we move. We're so excited for the new house, but at the same time, we're really gonna miss this one. It's our first home, and I have everything organized exactly the way I want. We had it fixed up exactly the way we wanted, and now we'll be figuring out how to do that in a new space. I'd like to implement a lot of what I show you today in the new house, and I think I still can, but of course, storage solutions depend on the space provided. So what works in one house may not work in another. I know some of the things in the master bathroom are definitely going to have to change because the cabinets are different in the new bathroom, but once I'm in the new house, I'll be sure to do a video on how I've organized that and share those tricks as well. But for now, these are some of my favorite storage solutions in this house. They apply to a lot of different houses, so I hope that this can make your life a little bit easier and you get some good ideas from it. So let's get started. In our kitchen, starting with the pantry, we've used a lot of bins and baskets to contain food depending on what it was. I've tried to group it into snacks and grains and things like that. And now that we have a son, we have a bin dedicated for baby food. We also have what I would call stadium seating for our canned goods. And I'm gonna link where I got all of this in the description bar, so if you're interested in any of that. Under our kitchen sink, we really had to maximize vertical space. So I took a dowel rod from Target and I hang cleaning sprays on it. I also took two shower curtain hooks and hung this little white basket from the same rod and I throw cleaning rags in it once I'm done with them. Once that basket gets filled, then I take it into the laundry room and wash it. We also used a couple extra pantry bins for cleaning materials. And I think a better use of this could have been using a couple drawers that stack on top of each other so that you could pull them out easier, but I just wanted to use what I had. I also used 3M hooks on the inside of cabinet doors, and that can serve a couple different purposes. You can hang a cleaning rag on it, or in this case, we hang our drying mat on it, and we make sure that the part that actually touches our serving wear faces the inside of the cabinet door. That way it wouldn't be right next to the cleaning supplies. We use insides of cabinet doors in a lot of different ways in this house. In the kitchen, we also have a rack that hangs on the inside of the door and it holds tin foil and plastic wrap, and that has cleared a lot of space in drawers as well as our pantry. That's on one side of the stove. On the other side of the stove, we have the same rack on that door where we hold extra olive oil and things like that. And the reason that those are to the right and left of the stove is because those are two things that you want easily accessible when you're cooking. With both the stuff under the sink and the stuff to the right and left of the stove, you want it easily accessible. And this goes for anything you're organizing. You won't reach for what you can't reach. So that kind of configuration made it easy for me to grab whatever it was I needed quickly, easily, without even really looking at it, and I didn't have to move a bunch of other stuff to get to what I needed. In the laundry room, we had one shelf above the washer and dryer when we moved in, and my husband built a couple other shelves, and then we measured it and put my favorite white baskets on them, and I did a whole video based on just these baskets because I really do use them all over my house in a bunch of different ways. I'll link the video below, but I love having those kinds in the laundry room because they're plastic, so if detergent were to spill or something like that, you can easily wipe down the basket. If it were fabric, that would just be terrible, <laughs> and I use these baskets with labels on them and they're dry erase labels. And I like that because as your needs change, you can always change what the label says. I use the same baskets and labels in my son's room and then I can easily write what size he's in on that basket and wipe it off and change it when he grows into the next size. Also in our laundry room, this is where we keep our mail and our coupons. This is one of my favorite things that we've done because I like how it looks. It has saved us time and it has saved us money. Those are three things that I deem valuable. 
I bought these folders from Office Depot. I'll link them below. And the top folder is for mail. And we generally have a one touch mail rule. So what that means is once it comes in from the mailbox, you touch it once and then you deal with it. You either throw it away or do whatever you need to do with it. That is more of a guideline now because it's turned into a two or more touch rule because we don't always have the time to deal with it right away. So we put it in this top folder and there's two folders in that first bucket and one is for incoming mail and one is for outgoing mail. The second folder is for coupons and frankly, we don't use a lot of coupons. A lot of the ones that we get in the mail are for things that we don't buy anyway. And I'm not an extreme couponer by any means. I actually find couponing a little bit overwhelming. So this is the system that has worked for me and has saved me time and money. So there's a bunch of folders that are designated for coupons and the folders are based on what the coupon is for. So Bed Bath & Beyond coupons and Bye Bye Baby coupons, they have their own folder because there are so many of those coupons that you get in the mail and you can use them after their expiration date but I do try to separate them into expired and not expired because the amount that you can save with them after the expiration date can change. So you can still use them, but you might not save as much. The other folders are for food. So restaurants and grocery stores. The next one is for services. So oil change, car washes, manicures, UPS. And then the third is for stores. So things like Target or clothing stores. Now here's the thing, it is very unlikely that on my way out of the door, I'm going to stop in front of this thing, no matter how well organized it is, and flip through these folders and pick coupons on my way outside. It is also unlikely that I personally am going to take out these folders as I make a shopping list and plan accordingly. So here's what I do instead. I keep a list on my phone of what coupons I have and when they expire. So I'll put Target and then $10 off $50 purchase expires June of 2018, for example. So that way, when I am sitting down to make a shopping list and I know I'm going to Target anyway and I know I'll be spending $50, I can look at that and think, okay, better grab that before I go. Similarly, I can also look at that and say, that expired months ago, I should throw that out. Then you don't end up with a million coupons sitting in your folder that you can't use. Or if you know you're going to Target, you can think, hmm, okay, better look at my list and see what coupons I have that are for that store. You can do this with gift cards too. So I have some restaurant gift cards and I keep them in the food folder. So that way, if we wanna go out to eat somewhere, we might choose it based on the fact that we can save $25. Personally, I find it a lot easier to just look at my phone and plan accordingly that way, rather than flipping through the folders. I like the folders because it keeps it in one place and it's organized and I, like this system, but when trying to plan how I'm going to use the coupons, I always use my phone. Sometimes I think about getting one of those little accordion files that's just about this big and keeping it in my car with some of those coupons so that way I'm with them whenever I need them. But really, if you're making your list before you leave the house anyway and you can just grab them on your way out the door, that works just as well. Also from Office Depot, I got these cork boards that I put on the wall in the laundry room and they hold basically anything that would go on the fridge. And I don't know why, but I don't like putting things on the fridge. So everything that would go there goes on these boards instead. So save the dates, wedding invitations, uh, birthday party invites, and Christmas cards. And I see it every time I walk into the house. And so that way, if you need to RSVP to something, it's right there. And I also put recent receipts on these cork boards as well, because that way, if I need to return something, the receipt is right there and I don't have to go dig through something else to find it. In our master bathroom, we used these mesh stackable drawers. It's actually not really a stackable drawer. They just it's all one piece and it has the two drawers that you can pull out and I have used them for years. I used them in college and now I use them here and it's going to be a little different in our master bathroom in the new house because there are actually just two shelves under the sinks and usually you don't see that. It's, uh, it's built around the piping but because usually you don't have something built around the pipes, these mesh storage things are really, really handy. And I think that's what I probably should have used under our kitchen sink, but again, just using what I had, which is still something I recommend. Anyway, I love these mesh baskets. I'm going to have to repurpose them probably in different bathrooms in the new house, but 
in our current master bathroom, it's where we've held any first aid related things, or uh, I have a, a jewelry cleaner I've put in there. I've put extra makeup in there before. I put hair things in there. Um, I mean, you can use it for anything you want. Also, just kind of like in the kitchen, we've put 3M hooks on the inside of the cabinet doors. And on my side, I keep a towel there, so, or a microfiber rag, and that way any water that gets on the counter or if I spill anything while I'm doing makeup, I can just wipe it down. And I like doing that every morning, really, just after we wash our faces and brush our teeth, I can just clean the counters real quick and then you don't see all the water spots all over it. It just really makes the room look a lot nicer, so I do that every day. We also found this little bin that is meant for inside a shower with suction cups, but we use it on the inside of a cabinet door. And instead of using the suction cups, we actually took 3M adhesive and put it on the door that way. And we kept face wash in it or uh, lotion or things like that. It was just easy to grab because again, what you can't reach for, you won't reach for. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and found some tips that you can utilize in your home as well. And I'll be sure to keep you posted on the new house and how I organize that once it's done. I'm sure it's gonna be a work in progress, but I'll share along the way. And with that said, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.